The ideas I express in the following pitch may already be in a game or movie, and I may just not know about it. However, if they are in a game or movie that I do know about, I simply don't feel that they live up to the potential of said ideas. I've been recently thinking of some ideas for video games that I think are kind of cool, so yeah. Starting with something like, I quite like the map system in the Silent Hill video games where, and I don't remember if this is correct of all of them, but at least, you know, the early ones, especially the first one, that's the one I've played the most, that's the one I remember the best. So basically, for anyone who hasn't played it, everywhere you go, you can pick up a map of that area, pretty much everywhere you go, and as you, let's say you find a door that can't be opened, or you find a door that needs a key, Either way, that specifically is going to be marked on the map. So, you know, when you later find a key, you'll, you know, hey, where did I have to go to use this key? And you use the map. That's where it is, and this is how I'll get there. I quite like that idea. What I would like is a game where you have to do that map yourself. You know, I, I think map... The map feature in a video game, whether it's very detailed or very basic, or maybe not even there at all, I think it's it's an interesting thing because you're know, finding your way through levels and stuff like that, especially in games where you're going over the same area several several times, and it's very much about you have to find your way back to somewhere you were earlier. I think it can really make or break a lot of the experience of that game how good the map feature is. So what I would like is a game where you actually have to make the map yourself. Basically, like, the game would give you the tools. I'm not talking about you have to be sitting there with a notepad in your hand because, you know, we're playing a video game. We're not, you know, trying to learn something or, you know, it shouldn't be too much like school. No. Basically, the game would, you know, give you a blank piece of paper, or several blank pieces of paper, in-game, and you have to draw, you know, from, you know, from walking back and forth over the area, you have to draw basically what the area looks like, and, you know, draw in kind of landmarks, so you can figure out where you even are. You know, I quite liked, there were, there are these games called the Penumbra, yeah. I don't know, trilogy, series, something like that. Where, in at least one of them, you don't have a map, but there is one. You just can't carry it around, because it's printed on boards, and if you don't, you know, when you find these boards with it, I think it does actually have a cross of, like, you are here, or maybe it doesn't even that. I don't entirely remember, but yeah, basically, you have to, you know, you can't just pull up the map every other second and see, am I even going the right direction, you know? It just, I think that would be a really cool test and would really, I don't know, I'm always looking for things that games can do to challenge the player, because if you're not being challenged, why are you playing a video game? And, yeah, you know, you'd have to add your own notes, you'd have to draw the whole thing, and, you know, I realize that a lot of people find that stuff boring, but I just think that would be really interesting to do, you know, a cool feature. Another thing I've been thinking about is a video game where you have to drive cars and like, maybe it's, it'd be something like a Grand Theft Auto game. And, you know, if one of the Grand Theft Auto games have this already, I just am not aware of it. I haven't played Grand Theft Auto since Vice City, you know, so yeah. Basically, I'd like something where you can, you know, that scene in Speed where he, you know, he asks if it's insured, you know, the crap movie, but a little of it is actually kind of memorable and cool. He asks if the car is insured when, you know, it's a yes, he opens the door and slams the car, sort of, or backs it into a, another car, something like that. He knocks the car door off, and now he has an easier time jumping out of the car. You know, you could do something like that with, well, I have to shoot out of this car, and I don't want this car door in the way. Or you have to shoot out the front window, you know, and then deal with that. I don't know, maybe shards of glass could prove a problem in that situation even. Like, you know, you 
are entering a car, you know you're going to be shooting at people, so you, you know, smash out the windshield, I think that's what it's called on a car person, before you even get in the car, you know, something like that. And, yeah, that was my second idea. Now, my third idea, I would like to see a proper sniping game that really captures the, the well, it's close to the real-life experience of being a professional sniper. So, we're talking camouflage, we're talking sneaking over a long period of time and you know if you mess it up if you move too fast if you move when you shouldn't you're gonna get killed or at least there's a great chance for, or maybe you're just gonna get spotted and the target is gonna leave the area you know and you know proper like tactics of that and maybe you even have to adjust like for wind resistance or you know whatever I don't know much of the details, but I just do know that they do a heck of a lot more than just point and shoot like we usually do in video games. And maybe, you know, and I got this, I'm gonna spell it, I got this next part of the idea, you know, squarely from the movie Leon, or The Professional. Maybe you can't, like, open up for the scope before the last minute because, you know, there could be a light glare or something and that could alert the target or his guards or whatever you know this could even work as a sort of it's, it could work in a couple of different ways in multiplayer there could be a co-op where the other player is a spotter and it could be a basically just one-on-one -on -one, or I guess two-on-two -on -two if again two of the players are spotters dual kind of scenario, you know, where the snipers actually have to try to trick each other. Like, maybe they'd have something that, from a distance, looks like a head that they could stick up from where they're hiding so that the other will shoot that and they have time to shoot them. You know, something like that. I think that would be really cool. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.